guys. Um, so today I am going to, my son has like a uh, end of the season football party, pizza party thing. So um, I'm getting ready. And I did this look. Um, all right. Potty mouth. Um, <laughs> let me turn that down. Um, so I did this look a few days ago, um, and on Instagram, a lot of people liked it, so I figured I'd do a video of it, and of course, the first thing you're going to do is get yourself together and find out where all your stuff is, that's the big one, so I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, eyelid primer, and it looks like I need to open a new one, it's almost out. And I'm almost—I'm just getting over being sick, so my voice might be a little stuffy sounding. So blend that all over your um, eye, from your eyelid up to your brow. Yeah, it should look like that. Nothing too hard. Um, then I have these things that need to be sharpened, but I can't find my sharpener. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Not put away. Um, just a little sharpened. I have got this sharpener from uh, Ulta. It's from Essen. It's like the dual sharpener, really cool. Um, this is a Wet n Wow's Idle Eyes in Graphite. And it's just like a deep um, eye pencil. So I'm just going to take this on the outsides of my eye and the inner corner. Okay. Same for the other eye. And we're going to blend that out with your finger, or a brush if you prefer. You're not going to really blend it out, you're just going to more uh, soften it. I don't really want to call it blending. You can blend up the edges a little bit, um, upwards, but not too far. It's okay if it gets um, more in the center where you left it open, but it won't be as strong. Um, then we're going to take one in Techno. It is a purple color, and place that in the inner corner, or in the inner corner, hello, um, in the center of your eye where you left that open, okay? Then, I'm going to take my favorite black, and that's from the Wet n Wild Blue Had Me at Hello. It's just a matte black. You can take the uh, the one next to it with the glitter in it, but um, I like the matte on the sides. And I'll show you in a minute when we get the rest of it done why. Um, I'm going to take that on a flat brush, and go ahead and place it on the inner, my gosh, on the outer corner and inner corner, I guess, I guess we'd be doing. Um, obviously, you want it really strong and deep and dark um, towards the edges or the outer corners. And then kind of uh, not so dark when you get towards the inner. Keep it pretty much underneath your crease. Okay. Just 
want to get this black on before the... Um, you can do this with any color in the center. somehow like lately big time whatever I'll clean it off later and we are going to use the um, elf single shadow in amethyst it looks like this uh, I don't want to say it's shimmery um, it's very pretty it's like a plum color with like um, almost like a pinkish uh, shimmer in it and it's kind of hard to explain um, I'm just taking this on a elf C brush packing it on packing packing it on and tapping off some of the excess and I'm gonna put that right in the center sort of looks something like that. Um, I don't have Beauty Mark by MAC, but with the, um, the way people explain it, I would say that this is pretty close. It doesn't look as dark on camera. I don't know if it's the lighting, but as you can tell, even just, sorry, even with a light base underneath, it's pretty dark. So, um, just make sure you have a good coat, a good layer, not a coat, a good layer of that. And then what I like to do is just take a uh, light brown or soft brown color first, which is, this is, um, not showing the color. Whoa, there we go. Um, this is by Coastal Sense. Uh, M07. And I'm going to take that on a uh, pencil brush. And we're going to place that right above the crease. So use that as your transition. A little messy, but whatevs. Then I'm going to go in with a uh, angle fluffy brush, take a tiny bit of that black, and we're going to blend it upwards and over, right around the uh, purple amethyst color. the same on the other Okay, so, so far, it's a little messy, but we'll fix it. Gosh, my camera's shaking everywhere. Okay, so I'm taking a Wet n Wild 
Brule. And my all-time favorite highlighting brush is the e.l.f. Uh, Professional Eyeshadow Brush. And we're going to clean this baby up. So you're going to add it to your highlight. And we're going to blend it downwards. Um, because this is like a, well, it's my skin tone color. If you have something that's a little bit more uh, of your skin tone, I would use something like that first to help blend it and clean it up. And then go ahead and, which I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and then go into something that's more for like, that I would use um, on a highlight, like with this uh, lip. I think I'm saying um a lot. I'm not used to talking in front of the camera yet. I'm I'm just being completely honest. I, I think it's going to take a while, actually. Okay, so it's a little more blended, a little more cleaned up. Um, if you want to do any touch-ups, would be the time. Well, let's see. I'm going to go into my uh, walking on eggshells and I'm going to take this top color and it's a uh, like a I don't know it's kind of got a little shimmer to it I guess and I'm going to go ahead and put that up underneath my highest point of my brow and blend it down in a tiny bit underneath a tiny bit underneath here but the main focus is right underneath your brow okay so I'm gonna go ahead and touch up the uh, purple a little bit this kind of is like a vampy kind of color. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to explain. I like it. A vampy kind of look is what I meant to say. And honestly, you don't need too much blending. Um, kind of blends itself. This, I'm just taking my flat brush. So I didn't add any more product. Kind of going over the edges. <coughs> yes. Yes, I am doing a video. Do you want to come on and say hi? Yes. Okay, come here. Okay. Don't be shy. Hi. Okay. What's your name? Kyler. This is my son Kyler. How old are you? Five. Five. He's in kindergarten. Getting in trouble all the time. Messy hair. <laughs> Alright. Go back in your... Go to your homework. My homework's already done. All of it? Yes. Every page? You better check. Two of them are. Yeah, you gotta do the rest of them. Okay, so I'm gonna take uh, the black again out of this palette and a uh, smudger brush right underneath your uh, bottom lashes. Okay. 
Uh, we're gonna take the eyelash curler. Curl your lashes. I like to curl my lashes prior to uh, putting any sort of um, eyeliner on. My personal preference, if you, however you want to do it. I'm taking Maybelline Line Stiletto Eyeliner. And because you can only really see it where the purple is, I'm not too worried about it. I am going to do my wing liner like always. You don't have to do a wing liner. What color? Can I say bike When I'm done. Huh? When I'm done. So you should have something that looks like that. And um, I don't want to put lashes on because I'm just going to a uh, football um, pizza party. So a little kid's pizza party. So I'll go ahead and... Uh, Either put on your mascara or your eyelashes, whatever you prefer. Just put on lots of mascara. the eyes will be some um, eyeliner. This is Milani Liquify Eyeliner in Black. And that's it for the eyes. And of course you want to clean up your face. Okay guys, so that's the final look. Um, I hope you like it. And my son has something to say. I thank you for watching. And mommy, have a good day. Bye. Bye.